Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to introduce to you my new Seastar S50 equatorial mount. This mount was designed and 3D printed using 3030 aluminum extrusion as a base. It's a stable and easy to use platform for the Seastar S50. The design was inspired by Kai Young's idea of holding a Seastar S50 in a polar line mode holding the top firmly. This way we take the strain off the base and the drivetrain. The mount should be placed on a stable surface. It should be level or as level as possible. You can adjust the legs to fine tune the alignment. The motion is smooth because it's held in place by two points eliminating vibration. This mount is a superior way to mount your C-Star. Your images will be very stable with fewer rejections. The actual images will come out really nice as I'll show you later in the video. The mount can be built fairly cheaply. The most expensive part is the 3030 extrusion. Shown here, I use a monopod for the polar axis support, but you can use a wooden dowel cut to the desired length, which is easily adjusted even after you cut it. As the telescope continues to rotate around, it shows you the smooth motion in which this tripod can offer. You will notice though the polar axis support may actually interfere with high latitude images near the North Pole. Also, be mindful if you have any dew shields that stick up towards the polar axis support and make sure it does not interfere or run into that support. In this photo, you see me setting the latitude angle at 35.9 degrees. Here's an example of me adjusting the legs. I'm adjusting both the long leg and the short leg to zero degrees. The way I designed the leg adjustment allows you to freely turn the adjustment screw while the leg pads stay stationary. Here's a photo of the Rosette Nebula taken with one hour and 30 minutes of integration time in mosaic mode. Here are the parts you will need to assemble this mount. If you'd like to build one of these mounts for yourself, head over to printables.com and download and print the parts. Don't forget to leave a comment for your build. I hope you decide to build this mount and use it for yourself. It's a very stable and wonderful mount to use. I think you'll get a lot of pleasure out of using it and you'll be taking some great pictures. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, clear skies.